Let's take an ordinary apple and a large magnet. Of course, the magnet does not affect the apple in any way. But what if you put two apples on a wooden stick and balance them in the air? Now, you can see that the magnet still causes small fluctuations in the apple. It seems that there really is a lot of iron in this fruit. This trick is also great with grapes. Who would have thought that fruits and berries can be magnetic? We will install the magnet on the stand and take a couple of needles on the thread. As you can see, they immediately begin to reach for it, pulling the threads. Now we're heating up the needles as it seems they're starting to lose the interest in the magnet. And they fall completely. If you hold magnet over matches, then no effect will follow. But if you let them burn out, they immediately require magnetic properties. And not only a big magnet, but with such a small one. How is this possible? Let's try again with color matches. At last, nothing comes out with them. Let's take 4 magnets and 16 steel balls. Now, we'll open up the plastic baseboard and place them inside as follows. Push a lonely ball to the nearest magnet and BAM! All the balls have changed their position. And the extreme one flew out the baseboard at a decent speed. This is a real magnetic rifle. Pour some PVA glue into a bowl. Add some steel spraying and bright gouache. Mix the mass until smooth. And now add sodium and we'll mix it until the mass turns into real slime. But this is not just your ordinary slime. It's worth bringing a magnet and see what happens. Slime envelops any source of magnetism, like a living slime. It's not easy to tear it off now. Holding the magnet at a distance, you can see how the slime seems to be pulling a tentacle towards it. Because of this, he really looks like something's alive. Just look how strongly this mass is drawn to the magnet. Much more interesting than your usual slime, right? Let's take a small plastic bottle, make a funnel out of a piece of paper, and pour some printer ink inside. Using a syringe, add alcohol inside until the bottle is filled. Close the lid tightly, and now put a magnet to the walls. Look what's going on inside. 
the magnet seems to purify alcohol from ink, they literally separate from each other. See how beautiful it can look, like a black waterfall that is directed upwards. All ink, no matter how well it has been stirred, will still be attracted to the magnet. Let's take another look at how quickly alcohol will become transparent again under the influence of a powerful magnet. An amazing sight, like a liquid hourglass. Let's take a new batch. Let's take a new batch of powder ink and mix it with oil. Pour a little in the glass, and with the help of a magnet, we will get an unusual drawing tool. We do not recommend repeating this trick at home. We will bring the magnet to a laptop screen, and it immediately goes out. Even a small magnet is enough. But remember that it can end badly for technology. Mysterious things also happen to a smartphone. When a magnet approaches, the screen goes out and lights up again. Let's take an ordinary magnet. As you can see, it is perfectly attracted to iron. But what if we heat it up the same way we heated the needles? After the magnet has become so hot, it's no longer attracted to iron. But even after it cools down, the magnetic properties will not return. Even another magnet can't move it anymore. We will install a gas burner over a container of cold water. We will bring the glass tube to the fire and wait until the glass drops falls into the water where it will instantly freeze. In addition to the drop itself, a thin glass thread freezes through which we will get them. Just look at how beautiful it is, but besides that, it's also very strong. You can't even break it with a hammer. But there's a trace left on the metal. And again. But it is worth pressing on the tail of the drop as it literally explodes, scattering into small fragments. Look at it in slow motion. Fill the aquarium with water and put a piece of glass inside with the drawn circle. Let's take scissors and attention now. Cut the circle out of the glass. Yes, you heard it right. Underwater, you can cut glass with scissors. It's not as easy as cutting paper, but it's possible. Here is such a glass circle we have turned out to be. Not quite exactly, but the main thing is that it works. Take a glass and then swipe it with the moistened finger. Interesting sound, but what happens if you pour water into a glass? The glasses sound the same, but if you put something light on one of them, you can see that they resonate with each other. Let's take an ordinary glass bottle. Pour alcohol into a bowl and dip a ball into twine into it. Soak it well 
and wrap it around the center of the bottle. We set it on fire and begin to turn the bottle smoothly while the fire is burning. As soon as it goes out, we drop the bottom to the water with the sharp movement and it divides into three parts. Although there are failures, well, success. Look at the slice, not the smoothest, but also not bad. Fill the bottle with water almost to the neck. And then we deliver a powerful blow with the palm of our hand. Okay, one more. The bottom of the bottle is knocked out. Although perhaps not only the bottom, the pressure inside just breaks the bottle. Look what happened to them. We wrap the neck of the bottle with wire and twist it and pull the free end into a resulting loop. Cut off the excess and twist it for reliability. It turns out to be such a pain. Now, heat the bottle with the burner until the glass gets hot and becomes soft and malleable. Now, it remains to pull the handle in the right direction let the glass cool down. Look at the fancy bottles we've made. Why, it's even more convenient this way. Take a car glass window. It's hardened, which means you can't just break it. Then let's take the spark plugs, and specifically this part, and throw them into the glass. It shattered into small pieces incredibly. Let's try again. Okay, one more time. Well, for the third time, it will definitely work out. Yes, it crashed. 